Greetings. In this video, I want to tell you about my experience using TCA trichlorcetic acid on my cholesterol spots. The medical term is xenthalasma, which is basically little white spots that will form underneath your eyes, sometimes on your eyelids, above your eyes, around your eyes. And about four years I had about four years ago I had it really bad, especially underneath my eyes. And you can see in this picture here that I took four years ago before applying the TCA what it my eyes look like before now this is a cautionary tale this video of how I used it was irresponsible what I would do differently if I would even do it at all as you know that there's other ways to get rid of cholesterol spots on your eyes there's surgery there's liquid nitrogen there's laser surgery uh, chemical pill, different other medical ways that you can do to get rid of it. I would actually promote a healthy lifestyle to get rid of it because cholesterol, which is in, which is in the name, cholesterol spots actually comes from cholesterol. And that's due to having an unhealthy diet of eating unprocessed foods, sugar, um, really, really bad foods, and not exercising enough. We all know that actually exercise helps with your cholesterol. And I would advocate to you that by living that lifestyle for months, if not a couple of years, you could get rid of those spots off of your face. So what did I do to get rid of mine or attempted to get rid of mine? So as you can see in those pictures, I had several under my eyes. I didn't have any on my eyelids. I didn't have any around, you know, on the corners of my eyes, except maybe one little spot. But I used a product called Wartner, which actually has TCA in it trichlorocetic acid and it comes in a little pin shaped tube and it has the little mixture in here and then you just turn it and then you just apply it well you know of course wartner is used for warts and plantars and it's meant to go on the hands and feet and they they stress that that's the only place that you should put it on the reason being is, is your epidermis, your skin, is much tougher on your hands and feet, on your arms. Your your skin, your your membrane is much thinner on your eyes and around your face. So it's much more porous and much more, uh, you know, susceptible to chemicals and toxins, which that's one thing that's kind of scared of after using it. Now, when I got it in four years ago, I was gung-ho, you know, I saw probably like a lot of you all that are watching right now, you know, hey, I want to get rid of this overnight and it's going to be all hunky-dory. Well, it's it doesn't go that way. So I got it in, and as you can see in the pictures, I applied it. I won't say I was too sloppy. I wasn't like ridiculous, but you could see there I had a cluster. I had a cluster like a whole inch. And I was just kind of liberal going down around it with my eyes open, nothing protecting my eye. And then I had one on the corner that I tabbed. Now, a lot of people are using TCA to get rid of blackheads off their nose, other parts of their body. And I have blackheads on my nose. I was like, I didn't try the whole, whole nose, but I did like a little small spot right here. And I, after I did that, I didn't finish. Well... Long story short, afterwards, it stung. And let me tell you something. When you do it, when you put on those cholesterol spots, the pain is severe. I mean, it's sharp. So if you do do this, expect extreme pain. And then after, the, after it, my face was red. I mean, we're talking the spots. It looked like I was in a car accident. Big red spots, and then I had a spot on my nose. And fortunately, I work from home, so I wasn't in the public too much. I would just wear sunglasses when I would go out. But man, I mean, it took, it looked like I was in a car wreck. And it didn't go away in the first month. It didn't go away in the second month. It probably take, took a good, I mean, it started fading significantly after the first month. But I would say in order to get rid of it, it took a good four, four to five months. Now, here's the thing. Did it get rid of the cholesterol spots? Yes, but it replaced it with scars. So that's what you're doing is with its acid. So what you're doing is it's 
it's almost like you're trading one thing for another. It'd almost be like getting a match and putting a match to it, and you're getting rid of it, but you're burning it. You're you're actually scarring it. And so, if you could tell by my face, you can't really tell in this lighting, but like it with the, if the light is really dim, it you you would actually still see white, and it's gotten better over the last year, but it's like two little white lines here from where I applied it, and that's basically just the scar. Now, eventually over time, if I eat healthy, those scars might start getting smaller, and I have noticed them getting a little bit smaller. My nose, where I had one right here to test out on blackheads, it almost just looked like a chunk of skin was off. Still skin, no blackheads, but it did, it did get rid of it. Now, what would I do differently if I were to do it again now? I would probably... You know, I'm eating healthy now. I'm eating, you know, a high high uh, vegetable diet now. And I would probably try to go with that route and maybe go and get maybe maybe something, an, a surgery or, I don't know, maybe a chemical pill would be something I would try under doctor's supervision. But if I did do it, first of all, I would be very, very conservative of how I did it. I wouldn't have done it like I did. I would have tried one little spot at a time. And I would use something like a spaghetti strand, like a dry, uncooked spaghetti strand like this. And I would, you know, if you've got the TCA bottle or something like this, and in the mirror, I would apply it to wherever I have it, whether it's above my eyes or whatever. Just one little spot, and then I would give it a day. And then I would apply another spot. I would not go all ham on one whole area like this. Because you will regret it. Um, like I said, the chemicals, we don't know. I mean, it's possible that it might affect you know, your body as far as putting the, the chemicals. Because your skin is a porous layer of skin. So your body is, is absorbing that, C, that TCA. So the difference between, like I said, your hands and your feet is that the skin's thicker and you're applying it to a wart, okay, which is thicker. On cholesterol spots, that's more closer to the surface of the, the, um, to the skin and it's a much thinner layer around your eyes and around above your eyes. So I don't think it's safe to do it if I'm going to be frankly honest. Now, again, if I were to do it over again, I would protect my eyes. So if I was starting, for example, on this side, I would completely cover up my eyes with like cotton and medical tape. And as you can probably see right here in this picture that I'm showing, I would completely cover up the eye that I'm working under. Because if you're doing, if you're working underneath the eye, those fumes, of course, go up in the air. And when you do it, the fumes can go into your eye. And I feel like I had an issue with dry eye a year after applying the, the, the TCA. I feel like, I feel like that it affected my eye and I feel like it could have damaged my pores from making, uh, making tears. So I think I started having dry, af dry eye afterwards. I think it's gotten better. But again, I would protect, I would protect that eye that I was working underneath. The eyelids, again, it's so super thin. You know, I would just be, I would be scared to apply it on the eyelids and just be very careful if you do decide to use this, think twice about it, go super slow, protect your eyes and consider getting surgery instead. All right. I do appreciate you watching. Please make sure you subscribe. If you do decide to go with this route with using TCA uh, to get rid of cholesterol spots, please use extreme caution and don't take it lightly. All right, thanks again, and please subscribe. You! You! Come here! You! Yes, you! I need your help. Come here! You see this right here? This wall's empty. I need a YouTube play button. In order for me to get a YouTube play button, I need 100,000 subscribers. I got, what, 20, 30,000 right now? I need 100. I need you. Please, you, to subscribe. You think, my subscription doesn't help. Yes, it does. I need 100,000. I need... I visualize, I visualize what I want in this world. And what I want is a YouTube play button.
I want a YouTube play button, and I need you to subscribe. You can help me. You can make your dreams come true. Just visualize it. Whatever you want in this world, you can have it. You can have all your dreams come true. I want you to help me make my dreams come true. All right? So please, please subscribe.